Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create polar effect in Photoshop. So first of all, go to the layers panel, make sure to activate background layer and we need to make a copy of the background. So press Ctrl or Command J or there is another way. Just simply drag and drop it to the plus icon right there. Now go to the menu bar, choose image, image size and make sure that width and height are unlinked. If you see, it's already unlinked and if I click on it, it's already linked and if I start to change width, the height is already changing. So make sure it's unlinked and set width to 30, 24 like height, resolution 72 and change resample from auto to Preserve Detail 2.0. Press OK. Now go to the Layers panel, right click and convert it to Smart Object. Go to the menu bar and choose Filter, Filter Gallery and from the Stylize folder choose Glowing Edges. Let me zoom out a little bit and as you can see we have this result. Put the edge width to 2, edge brightness to 6, and smoothness to 5. Press OK. Now go to the Layers panel and move your pointer right there on this icon. Double click and let me put it right there. And change the blending mode from normal to linear dodge. And make sure to decrease opacity to 30 to 35%. Press OK. Now go to the filter, distort, and choose share. Select top point, left click, and move it to the left side, and do the same for the bottom one. Okay, and make sure undefined areas is set to wrap around. Press OK. And for the next step, I must choose Patch Tool. And of course, it doesn't work on a Smart Object. So I must convert Smart Object to a raster layer. So go to the Layers panel, right click, and Rasterize Layer. Now go to the Toolbar and take Patch Tool. And simply follow like this. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now take Move Tool, press Ctrl or Command T, right click and choose Philip Vertical. Enter. Now go to the menu bar, Filter, Distort, and choose Polar Coordinates. Make sure it's set to Rectangular to Polar. Press OK. Now go to the Filter, and choose Camera Raw Filter. Open Basic tab. We need to touch temperature a little bit, like 3 or 4. I put it to 3. Tints. I'm going for minus 5. Set Shadows, Whites and Blacks to minus 20. Like this. And follow the Continue settings.
and after you're done press ok and there you go my friend much appreciated as usual and i see you in the next video